Hi everyone. Hello, 大家好 Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Ah,、uh, yeah, Happy Mother's Day. And、uh, today we have another mother、uh, taking care of her son, Anna, Anna Mikhnovna. She is a great mother. And she took Boris to see who? Uh, Prince Vasily. No, really, Count Bezukhov. Oh, oh, oh. Bezukhov. Uh, but, Count Bezukhov.、Uh, yeah. Um, and they were just gonna go meet his room, but then the Prince Vasily came out, and、mm. um, he was、yes. seeing the doctor Lorraine, and then Prince A、um, Petersburg Lorraine. Yeah. And that's the name of the doctor. Then it is certain," said the prince. "Prince, humano es errare," but replied the doctor, swallowing his R's and pronouncing the Latin words with a French accent. "To err is human, right? So that's a umare, humanum e errare. To err is human. So if、uh, so、people make mistakes, so what then? This certain what it mean? Well, he's asking, are you certain? Certain for what? Don't, don't know. know. But he says、uh, it's it's. People make mistakes. That's what he's trying to say. People make mistakes.、Um, he says, "Are you certain?" He says, "No, probably. I, I'm, I'm, I." He says, "It's possible I make a mistake." That's what he's trying to say. It's possible make mistake.、Yeah. Very well, very well. Who said Prince Vasily? Yeah, seeing Anna Mikhail.、Uh, so why he said that to the doctor?、But、he asks, "Are you certain?" Okay. And the doctor says, "No, I'm not sure." He says, "No, it's I can make a mistake. I could be, I could make a mi- he's probably certain, but he says, 'But I could be wrong.' That's what he's、mm-hmm. saying." And the person, "Okay, fine, fine." Fine, okay. Seeing Anna Mikhailovna and her son, Prince Vasily dismissed the doctor with a bow. Mm. And approach them silently with a look of inquiry. Approach. Yeah, what's approach mean? I don't know. What do you think about it? He approached them. There's he, Prince Vasily, and there's them, Anna, her son. So what could it be? He approached them. Meet them. Okay. See them. Okay.、Mm. Silently. Why silently then? Silently. I don't know. You see them silently.、Um, could be. Yeah.、Mm, greeting. No. Approach them. Approach. Approach. Touch? No. No. He can't touch. How can he touch them? I don't know. Got closer. Walk closer to them. Okay.、Oh, approach. Okay. Walk closer to them silently and. Approach. You got approach now. Approach. 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 Ap- approach means walk close. You say. Get closer to something. Approach. Get close Get, to something. Or arrive some. Approach. Approach a destination. I'm getting close to my destination. Okay. The son noticed that、mm. a expression of profound sorrow suddenly crowded his mother's face. And he smiled slightly. Son, notice what? Son is obviously no, sorrow is no. sad. No, profound doesn't mean obviously. <clears throat> deeply. Yeah. Deeply sad.、Mm-hmm. Suddenly clouded his mother's face.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and smiled slightly. Slightly means a little bit. Yeah. Prince, in what sad circumstance we meet again, and how is our dear invalid? How is our dear invalid? I don't understand what this means. Dear, you know, dear. Yeah. You know, dear. Yeah. Dear invalid. Who do you think? <coughs> who is a sick person? Sick person. Pierre's father. Yes. So why are you asking? How is our all、oh, sick person? How 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 is he? Yeah. Right. Said she as though unaware of the cold, offensive look fixed on her, as though, as though, as if, as though, yeah. Unaware of the no, cold. No, no, no. Nobody can. No, unaware. Is what? Is uh, uh. Nobody know. Is secretly. Yeah, as she's pretending she doesn't know. Yeah. Unaware、okay. of the cold, offensive look fixed on her. A cold, offensive look. Look fixed, fixed on her. Fixed on her. Why she have a offensive look? Who has a offensive look? Anna. No. Huh? Prince Vasily has a cold, offensive look. Said she. Yes, keep reading. She as as though unaware. Unaware of the cold. She is unaware, as though unaware, as as if she is unaware of the cold, offensive look fixed on her. As if she. No, she. Okay, you have to go back then because there is a she there. She said she as though unaware. Who's unaware? Oh,、uh, she unaware.、Uh-huh. She unaware of the cold. Oh, of the cold offensive, offensive look, look fixed, fixed on, on her. her. Who has a cold offensive look? Oh,、uh, Prince Vasily. And、uh-huh. what is she pretending? She pretending that she does not know. Notice. Yes,、yeah, she's pretending she don't. She she don't know. It's a. 
offensive look. She knows it, she but knows, she's pretending but she, she doesn't she don't know. know. Okay. Prince Vasily stared at her and at Boris questioningly and perplexed. Yeah. What? Questioningly, you know. Yeah. Perplexed. No, no, no. Puzzled. 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 Or question? Perplexed. Puzzled. Puzzled means don't know why, not oh. question. Why they stare at her? Because they don't know what, why you come here, right? Obviously, I think he knows why he's coming here for money. But this is perplex, puzzle. Well, she's well. How can you be here? Maybe she's wondering how can you be here? Oh. Who will let you in or whatever? Mm. Boris bowed politely. Yeah. Prince Vasily, without acknowledging the bow, turned to Anna. So he didn't even notice Boris. Okay. Okay. He he actually noticed, but without acknowledging the bow, he did not acknowledge the bow. He he don't know. No, he did not acknowledge. Without acknowledging. He did not acknowledge means he did not recognize the bow. Oh. He know he they bowed. But he don't know who are he know, he. He knows Boris. Huh? Prince, Prince Vasily knows Boris. But but without acknowledging. Yeah, without bow. yeah without. So somebody bowed before you. You saw it, but you don't. You turn away. You don't do anything. Oh, I see. But I don't want to respond. Acknowledge, no acknowledgement. I don't. Turn to Anna Mikhailovna. Yeah. Answering her query. What what is mean answering her query? Answering her query. Yeah, why is it what's a query mean? Question? Yes. Answering her question by a movement of the head and lips indicating very little hope for the patient. So it was a movement of the head. Of his head. Yeah. And lips. Yeah. Indicating very little hope for the patient. Mm -hmm. How he used the movement of head. I'm doing and it for lips. you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Continue. Is it possible? exclaimed Anna Mikhailovna. Oh, how awful. It's terrible to think. And I said, This is my son, she added, <laughs> indicating in Boris. He wanted to thank you himself. Oh. So, so he, so he, she said, How awful means how pity or no, sadness. How bad. How bad. Oh, it's terrible to think he will die, right? Yeah. And then suddenly he said, oh, this is my son. Yeah. She added, indicating to Boris. Indicating? He indicate. Pointing? D-I-C, their dict, right? Dict, D-I-C, dict. is a finger. Finger. Indicating, yeah, you can use the finger to show something. Indicate. Okay. So digit, digit, you know digits? Digit, yes, yeah. These are my digits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indicating. Means I'm pointing, indicating, showing somebody, someone. I'm showing somebody, someone. Yeah. Indicating. So she's indicating Boris. Oh, okay. To who? To Prince Vasily. Yeah. He bu Boris bowed po again politely. So he bowed. He bowed again. Yeah. Believe me, Prince. A mother's heart will never forget what you have done for us. Oh my. <laughs> okay. I'm glad I was able to do your service, my dear Anna Mikhailovna," said Prince Vasily, arranging his lace frill. And in and in a tone and manner here in Moscow to Anna Mikhailovna, whom he had placed under an obligation. Okay, so I don't know how much you want to stop. Okay. I don't understand. So arranging his lace frill, just his movement, right? Arranging some piece of clothing, okay? Okay. And in tone and manner. Yeah. So Which tone and manner? Don't know yet. So, this, yeah. In tone and manner. You don't we know. We don't know yet what tone and manner. But here is Moscow. So, I don't know. So here in Moscow. Here in Moscow. To Anna Mikhailovna. To Anna Mikhailovna. Whom he had placed under an obligation. Whom? Whom is what? Whom is here? Whom is what? Anna. He, yes, he had placed. He had placed under. Placed under. You know, place under, right? Place under. He placed oh, uh, Anna. Her under. Under, under an and obligation. What's obligation mean? Feel sorry? No, responsibilities. Oh, obligation means responsibility. Kind of like responsibilities, yeah. Oh, obligation. So he put Anna. Under his an an obligation. What does that mean? Mm, I take responsibility for you. Yes. I take responsibility. Uh, Prince Vasily takes some um, he did, obligation. Yes. Uh, obli uh, obligation. obligation for Anna. Yes. Which was what to help her son. son. Yes. So get he did. Position. That's what it means, right? 
oh. assuming an air of much greater importance than he had done in Petersburg at Anna Scher's reception. So now he, he feels even more important than before because remember, he asked a favor. She said that he would do it, but in a tone now in a tone and manner in a way much more important than so previously he, he was already important in Anna Scher in Petersburg right yeah he was already important yeah now he's saying that he's becoming even more he he took this air I'm much more important I make I'm, I'm so important to you um, I'm, you already you already owe me a favor if you like oh you owe me a favor now, you, now here you owe me even a greater favor here yes. where in Moscow they're in Moscow now they're not in Petersburg but now. But, but Anna didn't say anything about ask for a favor. Doesn't matter. He already did a favor for her. How? He put her son oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. already. Yes. So? So now he, he's making himself much more important than before. Because I already did your favor. I already took care of you. Okay, so you don't you, you cannot ask me for other favor. I'm not sure about that. But basically say, hey, you know, I'm much more important than you. Oh. Try to serve well and show yourself worthy, added he, adjusting Boris with severity. Because I did this favor for you, he's saying, right? Mm -hmm. Try to serve well. What does it mean? Okay, serve the army well. Yes, try to serve. Because he put, he put his... Yeah, yeah. So you can... And show yourself you worthy. Make yourself worthy. Yeah, like, because worthy. I introduced you. So addressing Boris with severity or severity. So seriously. Yeah. I'm glad. Are you here on leave? So, are you here on leave means you're not in the army now. You're like maybe... Leave is like a vacation from the army. Are you on leave? Huh? He's talking to Boris. So I'm glad. Yeah. Are you here on leave? Yeah. What does it mean? You are you go here to on army? vacation? Oh, on vacation, okay. Right. He went on He went on his usual and tone of indifference. Okay. That's how Prince Vasily normally talks. Yeah. So, this tone is different than indifference, this tone. Yes. I'm awaiting orders to join my new regiment, Your Excellency, replied Boris. He's waiting orders to join his regiment. We talked about regiment before, so this is your like fourth time on regiment. What is a regiment? Equipment. No. To join my regiment. He's gonna join Army. Yeah, but what's regiment? Mm, riding the horse. No, that's hussars. Walking. No, that's just his group, his little group in the army, right? Army is very big. You have normally you they put you together with some with some group. Yeah. That's your regiment. Oh, small group. Smaller group. Smaller yeah. Group. I don't know. Maybe twenty people or something. Okay. Your Excellency replied, Boris, betraying neither annoyance at the prince's brusque manner nor a desire to enter into conversation. So he he betrayed again. Betray means what? We went through betray. Yeah, betray means um, you don't want other people betray you. Yes. If you, if you so um, who is betraying who here? His voice. His voice. Okay. His voice is not betraying him. So if I am if I am lying, say okay, and my the way I speak, mm. you can tell. Oh, he's lying. Yeah. Then my voice betrayed me. My voice yeah, yeah. betrayed me betrayed because the. betrayed me. Yeah. yeah, because you can tell from my voice that I'm lying. Mm -hmm. So here he's saying when he said I'm awaiting orders, whatever, mm -hmm. betraying neither. So his voice did not betray him, mm -hmm. either neither annoyance. So he's already annoyed at the prince, mm -hmm. but his voice did not show that. Mm -hmm. Neither neither annoyance at the prince. Brusque means very, very uh, short, short. Uh, Kind of, you know, like when somebody's brusque means that they don't say much. Kind of like, mm. kind, it's kind of not nice. Kind of like, not nice. Yeah, a manner, nor a desire to enter into conversation. So, and he also his his he did not he did not betray his uh, uh, desire. Uh, uh, neither annoyance at the brusque manner, nor a desire to enter conversation. So he neither neither showed that he wanted to feel annoyance, but neither he did he show that he wanted to talk to him. So in the middle. Very cold. In the middle. In the middle. No, I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't want to necessarily talk to you, but I'm not showing that I'm kind of annoyed at you. Either. Just polite. 
but speaking so quietly and respectfully that the prince gave him a searching glance. Speaking so quietly and re respectfully, respectfully that the prince gave him a searching glance. Looking at him, yeah. So why? He answered his question, are you on leave? He answered the question. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm. But he doesn't know like what kind of answer that is. Are you kind of happy that I put you in the army? Are you kind of whatever, right? So Prince Boris, I don't know. Boris didn't say much. But he's not. Show he's much. not betraying. His voice is not betraying anything. Uh -huh. Not betraying that he doesn't like Prince Wesley or that he likes Prince Wesley. He's not doing anything like that. Mm. Are you living with your mother? I'm living at Countess Rostova. Replied Boris, ag again adding, "Your Excellency." So he he replied, "I'm living with Rostovs." Yeah. That is that is with Ilya Rostov, who married Natalie Shishna. Oh, that's uh, Anna saying that. <laughs> that's Ilya Rostov, who married Natalie Shishina, said Anna Mikhailovna. So I know, I know. Answered Prince Vasily in his monotonous tone. I never could understand how Natalie made up her mind to marry that unlicked bear. I perfectly absurd and stupid fellow, and a gambler too. I'm told. Remember that uh, Natalie, Miss uh, Rostov, yeah, knows Prince Vasily, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. She said Prince Vasily know her. Yes. And, and also even liked her maybe a little bit. Yeah, and then we know uh, Anna and uh, and Natalie they, they have a private conversation, head to head talk, and she said her husband is like spending like spending money right on the theater or on. Yes, right. Okay. But anyway, so she said that uh, he mm. possessed. I don't understand how this woman, yeah. Miss Frostoff, figured out, made up her mind, decided. Mm, to marry this bear. Bear? Unlicked means not... Control. Not controlled bear, yeah. Okay. A perfectly okay. absurd, crazy, if you like. And crazy? Absurd, like uh, weird uh, and stupid fellow. And a gambler too. And a gambler too, I'm told. Oh, Prince Wesley is so rude. I don't care. Let's go. Let's move. Uh. But a very kind man, Prince, said Anna Mikhailovna. So that's really true. Uh, Rostov, Count Rostov is a kind man. Mm. I said Anna Mikhailovna with a pathetic smile. Pathetic? Yeah. Fake? No. Not that since. Not, not happy. Not, yeah. Not grieve. As, yeah. As though she too knew that Count Rostov reserved the censure. Censure means speaking, speaking uh, against him, right? Speaking uh, against him. So he deserved it. That means he he he. What Prince Vasily said is not incorrect. So she she not knew that incorrect. incorrect. You said that he was too harsh, right? You just said that Prince Vasily was too harsh on. Yeah. Him. But she's not actually this, saying here that she knew that Conservatorsov deserved. He deserved that criticism. That criti criti criticism. She censure. too knew. She know a lot. She too knew. She also knew, also knew that Count that Rostov Count deserved, deserved this. this criticism. Means Count Rostov is actually that person. Deserved, yeah. So he's that person for sure. He deserved means that he, if you say Agree. something about him, if you say something about him, yes, he should be to say something bad about him. Deserved. Oh. But asked him not to be too hard on the poor old man. But oh. asked Prince Vasily, don't be too hard. Okay. What do the doctor say? Asked the princess after pause, her own worn face again expressing deep sorrow. She mm. wants to know what the what the doctor say. Mm. They the give worn face means we've been seen worn oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, many yeah, yeah. times. Worn face means the cry, right? Oh. They cry a lot. No, worn means like like a shoe. It's old shoe. It's kind of worn. Worn old shoe. Wear. You know how to wear, wear clothes. Yeah. Wear. Wear. Worn is past worn. tense of. Wear. Oh. So worn means like I old face. Yeah. They give little hope, replied the mm. prince. Uh, and I should so like to thank Uncle. So she's talking about Count Bezuhov. Mm. Once for all his kindness to me and Boris. So now she wants to ah. talk to Count Bezuhov. He is his godson, she added. 
her tone suggesting that this fact ought to give Prince Vasily much satisfaction. So she felt that by saying that her son is his god, Count Bezukhov's son. Will make Miss Vasily Ms. satisfaction? Yes. Because, again, Prince Vasily mm. helped Boris get somewhere. Yeah. So maybe by knowing that he's, she's, he's actually helping Count Bezukhov's godson, that it would have been happy by helping that. Uh -huh. who, who knows? Maybe. Prince Vasily became thoughtful and frowned. Oh, Zhou Mei. Anna Mikhailovna saw that he was afraid of, fi of finding in her a rival for Count Bezukhov's fortune and hastened to reassure him. So Anna was thinking on her head, mm. maybe mm. Count Bezukhov is Should scared I, uh, of thinking about them mm. as a rival enemy, enemy for, for Count uh, Bezukhov's fortune because oh, Vasily wants the money. The whole money. Now she's worried about maybe, she, maybe Anna's, Anna's, thinking, Anna's thinking maybe he's not worried about her, her or whatever. So he, so has he hastened quickly Quickly. Try to reassure him. Make sure that reassure, make sure. Make sure him what, what? that she's not for the money. Uh -huh. If it were not for my sincere affection and devotion to uncle, whatever she just makes up stories. So she says that she has a sincere, honest affection. What's affection? Love. And devotion. She is very uh, devoted uh, to, to uncle. uncle. Said she uttering the word with peculiar, peculiar. Special. Yeah, assurance and unconcern. Oh. Um, the mm. peculiar assurance means like for sure. For sure, no unconcern. Concern. Yes, I know his character, noble, upright, but you see, he has no one with him except the young princesses. So I think the saying that he knows that he's a very good guy, Count noble, Bezuha, upright. But he doesn't have anybody with him except the young princesses. I don't know, maybe his daughters. They're still young. She mm. bent her head and continued in a whisper. Has he performed his final duty, prince? What? Okay, has he performed his final duty? I don't know what that means. How priceless are those last moments? It can make it can make things no worse and it will it is absolutely necessary to prepare him if he is so ill. We, woman, prince, she added tenderly, always know how to say these things. I absolutely must say him. So she's basically saying before he dies, before he dies, I don't know, he has personal final duty means like maybe give people breath blessing before somebody die, especially somebody like him. He needs to give people blessing, you know, bless you, my child, whatever, right? So maybe she's how saying princeless, how priceless, priceless how are priceless. those last moments. How how very expensive if you like you cannot give a price. Uh, how priceless can, are those last moments? It can make things no worse. And it's absolutely necessary to prepare him if he is so ill. It is what makes to do no, worse. no to do this final duty. To do to do this final duty can make things no worse. Right. And it's of course necessary to prepare him if he's so ill. We women, prince, she smiled tenderly, always know how to say these things. I absolutely must. So she's trying to say, I have to see him. She smiled tenderly, always know how to say these things. Mm. However painful it may be for me, I'm used to suffering. <laughs> Whatever, she just make a lot of stuff up. Evidently, the prince understood her. And also understood, as he had done at Anna Pavlovna, that it would be difficult to get rid of Anna Mikhailovna. So make sure you understand that one. And to her what? Yes, he, he understood what she wants. She, she wants what? She wants to talk to Count Bezukhov. Yeah, and she will not go. And she will not go away, yes. Yeah. Would not such a meeting be too tiring, trying for him, dear Anna Mikhailovna? said she let us wait until evening the doctors are expecting a crisis so won't you make him too tired too tiring to make him too tired mm. and then let's just wait until evening the doctors are expecting something bad will happen crisis is bad crisis means like a crisis. high point but in this case because of disease a high point means that he's close to dying so what the doctors are expecting Doc, like remember he said he can't count the uh, vastly asked the doctor are you certain mm -hmm. remember 
and then certain of what? Probably that he would die tonight, yeah. probably. But one cannot delay, Prince, at such moment. He says, you cannot delay. You have mm -hmm. to do something now. Consider that the welfare of his soul is at stake. Consider that his soul. Ah, uh, it's awful. So his soul. Whose soul? His father's soul. Welfare, good? Goodness. The, Goodness. the, the, the health of his soul. The health of his soul is at stake, it's on the stake. risk. Yes. Stake on the risk. And it is awful, the duties of a Christian. So she's saying that she has to do something um, do as a Christian. Christian. Right? Do, I guess she has to ask, uh, do you believe in Christ or whatever before you go or whatever. Something like that.